This is the Integrated Math 3 practice test for 10 ready. Question number 26, we're in subpart 3, so you can use a calculator. The focus of a parabola is located at 5, negative 6, and the directrix is at y equals 12. Complete the equation of the parabola by indicating on your answer document the appropriate term from the list below each blank in the equation. So I guess it kind of makes sense to think about what the directrix and the focus are. They're points of which we can build a parabola if we so desire. So let's find the focus here, 5 and negative 6. Don't worry, I'm not uh, dumping out of that question. I'm just filling in this stuff first. So there's my focus and my directrix. this line right here. So when we build our parabola we're looking for points that are equidistant from those things. So it'll either go uh, one direction or the other. Generally the focus is inside that parabola so that might matter. If you see this up here and this down here it's probably going to face down, right? Same type of thing. Um, and as you move away from this point it has to have sort of a rotate, it has a uh, sorry, an arc that's created in order to say the same distance away. It has to move out here in order to be uh, closer to this. Anyway, whatever. Let's find the vertex, right? That would be the middle point between these two. I'm just going to pick a point on y equals 12 at 512. Find my vertex. Uh, that'll make life much easier for me. So in order to find those two, I need to find the midpoint of those. So you could use the old handy dandy x of 1 plus x of 2 divided by 2. Same with y's. And you'll find 5 plus 5 is 10 divided by 2 gives you 5. So if you want to see this, 10 divided by 2 is 5. And then this one would be 12 plus negative 6 over 2, or 12 minus 6, which is 6. 6 divided by 2 is 3. So at 5 and 1, 2, 3, I have my vertex. Now, that's sweet. Who cares, right? What can I do with it? Let's go back to how we would do parabolas before we were talking about the focus and directrix. You would have a vertex form, for instance. It would be y is equal to x minus h squared, or h is like the coordinate of x for the vertex, plus k, which would be the y version. Um, the only difference here is we have to have extra components in it. The distance that's from here to here, so from the vertex to the directrix, and the vertex to the focus, we label that P. The only difference uh, between this and this is we have to have we have to consider that value. So it's going to be one over one fourth of that value tells me the a value from before. Before we'd have a there and it would just tell you what it went up. So if you're doing x squared, if it was 3x squared for each one you went over, it would increase and have a. So in the first point, if you're down here, your first one would go up and over 3, and the next time, you know, up 9, all that whole thing. That's it. Easy peasy. Um, but in this case, it's 1 fourth p. So let's work it out. You'll notice it's not in that form. x squared's not by itself. So we're going to fill in whatever we can. Oh, and we can fill out that part. I don't know why I didn't put it there. It's been a long day. P's value is 6. Or sorry, 9. Jeez, I told you it's been a long day. Because you could just count that. I mean, just count it. H's value here would be uh, the 5, and then 3. So y is equal to 1 over 36. x minus 5 squared plus 3. And oh no, I realized I forgot something. If the focus is on the inside, this thing's going this way, right? So remember how the a would be negative if it was like that? This one's negative 2. If it's positive, you go up. If it's negative, you go down. Fun times had by all. 
I guess. Um, from here, I'm just going to solve it. I need to subtract 3 from both sides. y minus 3. And by solve it, I mean get it in this form. Equals negative 136 times x minus 5 squared. Now, x and something with squared is on by itself, so if we just get rid of this thing, we're good to go. What do you do to get rid of negative uh, 136? It's two options. You can divide by a negative 136, which, like, why would you do that? Or you can multiply both sides by negative 36. So in this side, you get negative 36 times y minus 3. And on this side, you just end up with x minus 5 squared. Looks like all the parts, right? Good go. Minus 5 negative 36. Oh, I almost wrote plus 3 there. What am I thinking? Minus 3. So that's all you need for that one. Not uh, not super easy, but the parts, if you could remember, and by the way, thanks a lot, State, for not putting any of that stuff on the reference page. The reference page is basically a reference of stuff you would have used uh, other classes ago. Heaven forbid they give you the hard class more information. But if you can remember the basic idea of the vertex form, how that's all set up, you're on the right track. If then you can remember that it's one-fourth times the distance from the vertex to either the directrix or the focus, because it's the same distance, then you're in good shape. The only other thing you have to remember is if it's facing down, it's negative. If it's facing up, it's positive. And you can tell based on where the, ver uh, the focus is in relation to the vertex. If the vertex is above the focus, it's going down. If it, the v if it was the other way, where this was the vertex and this was the focus, then it would just go up. So that's the answer to that question. Um, two more to go.